on guys slain HD here today we're gonna to be doing another Kali Linux video on this time it's going to be uh, cracking a WPA uh, wireless network <clears throat> and to do that we're gonna be using an application called aircrack so your first step is getting a USB wireless device and it has to be Kali Linux compatible I'm not gonna to go too much into that but do your research that is a must first step is gonna be typing in airmon ng as you can see we have our interface here already made and I've already done this so usually it'll just say w lan one or something else anyways the next step is gonna be airmon ng start lan zero okay now as you can see here is it found four processes that could cause trouble so these things here can interfere with the application so you can simply just type kill one zero you know and then the process id but a real simple way to do that is just type airmon dash ng check kill and that'll get rid of all the remaining processes so after that you're going to go ahead and take a look at what wireless networks you have around you so and it's going to be arrow dump dash geez my typing is off and then the interface you just made now what this is going to do is it's going to locate all the wireless networks around you that it can pick up and for this video we are doing w how to crack w e p although i don't have any around me however I'm going to show you the exact steps you'll go through to do it. So we'll pretend one of these is WP web. So um, what this is doing is scanning around, looking for the networks, what you see here, power. So the lower the number, the stronger the signal, right? The data, you've got your channel that it's on. This is the um, BSSID or MAC address, the encryption and the ESSID, right? So you're going to let that run for a little bit, then control C. And then next we're going to open up a new window. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick our target. So let's just go pretend we're going to go with this guy. So we're going to want to copy this MAC address. And then you're going to type arrow dump dash ng dash C one because it's on channel one dash W to write because we're going to use test file because this is where it's going to write the information to and then dash dash b s s i d and this is where you're going to paste it in and then you're going to type your interface so what this is doing now is it's sending the data to the network the more data the better so basically you're going to let this run for for a while um, but for the sake of this video and time, and since I'm demonstrating how to do it on web, when we don't have a web, I'm going to continue on the next process of what you would do if we were cracking a web network. So after you let that run, all right, so next we're going to do airplay, dash ng, dash one, dash a, the bssid, so we're going to copy it, and we're going to paste it again and the interface once again what did i forget oh okay so now see how it's giving you the error uh it's wpa so if this was wp but if it was a wep we would be in the process of breaking into it right now you would get a smiley face showing up right here showing that you connected so the next step would be pull up another terminal Okay, and then you're going to type ls just to see where our file is. So here we are at test test file cap. So you're going to do air play again. Dash ng. Dash three. Dash b. Paste the bssid one more time and the interface 
All right, so now it's using the device Mac and it's waiting for beacon for it's reading the packets. So if this was a web, once again, we would be capturing the ARP requests, which is another process in helping us get the key to break into the network. So your next step would be opening up another terminal again. It's going to be air crack dash ng test one dash one dot cap. And that's going to open up. It's going to choose its target and it would create the handshake if it was web. And then you would get your password here from there. What you would want to do is from your terminal service networking start to restart the network networking manager start and then after that you would simply go to your wireless network you would select the network that we were breaking into and it's going to in in the file here pulled up here with the aircraft ng it's going to give you a hex code you'll simply input that in the password remove the colons and hit connect and then gg you're in so it's that simple and i apologize guys that i don't have a wep to show you how it works. I'm working on learning how to crack WPA2, which is a lot harder and everyone around here is smart to have WPA2 because if you have WEP, you deserve to have your network broken into. So I do apologize that I'm not able to show you it in live action, but if you do follow these steps and have a WEP network in your vicinity, you will be in that network, no doubt. So as always, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. This video, as always, is for educational purposes only. Make sure to use your knowledge for good, guys. Not bad.